so still we are on we are talking about whether ghana football is dead or not okay so uh so okay not long ago on a more demonstration the save ghana football demonstration okay and after that demonstration harry asante chum that's a communication director for ghana football association so we can also see a definition but uh yeah definitely i can't tell for now but i know he's the communication director for ghana football association okay and uh after save uh ghana football no he come out to say say oh minia uh because the ghana football is dead beyond not you remember shallow minded remember not you remember say i call a kitchen or cocoon in so what you are saying team then uh not just uh, yesterday also he granted interview with akuma fm in kumase and also he continued to explain you know blaster's performance okay uh it's be a blaster performance that to me i call key players be how much to me and both any matches now your boy in the nigeria share you know then he also says say, even though you, when you argue say there was no uh senior players be a was a mobile man born here sharing crown always with me i give say no more and I uh, yeah, Comoros and any other uh, Zambia and any other small small nations in Asia as well. Yeah. So he also explained, uh, you know, Ghana Premier League. Ghana Premier League is the most competitive league, and also uh, is a free and fair. He also spoke about uh, how the GFA is struggling to get money for uh, youth football and uh, other things uh, uh, also, uh, 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 Ghana. So, uh, and also Ghana. So at the Hey, Asante Chum, uh, he is the communication director. So you listen to what he said uh, in the interview with uh, Kuma FM. And then after that, don't forget to say, oh, subscribe to the channel. So oh, subscribe to the channel now. Oh, hit the notification bell. So I'll uh, 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 share a video. Uh, subscribe. Your Facebook, a uh, TV. Your uh, Instagram, a uh, TV. TikTok, a uh, TV 6. And also Twitter, a uh, News TV. So you follow us all uh, the social media handles. Then uh, we move. So, uh, so listen to Asante Chum interview with akuma fm and a wukuma senetin sema or kind of sense more kind of toss from our then you know our buys and plus which were then out also the account we be from what the best station so what they are saying and you know madam i say yeah in tea in summer heavy as any tomb a kind what that's a blast that also like you know i'm saying tbnog trophy in confidence in a bar now that teams and where that players in the solo i'm a bomb money chris mohammed and so i bought him more than 10 piano blasters who bounce back to eight normal form. So in Chibi, I basically win a trophy near the idea. I was on the trim. Now, I can't get a brand new trophy, but I'll see a person to bounce to back now with the mini trophy in account. So, what I say, okay. If you know, can I defy your league? GP on the answer, no more. What it means is that there is fairness in the organization of the of the competition it doesn't favor anybody it does not favor any club you just have to do things right and get the results for instance um when um fc summer Techs were flying running uh, with an unbeaten home record it took nations fc to go to samra boy to beat them nations fc came to kumasi and silenced the santi last week they've gone four games without defeat um summer Techs also tried so hard um after going two games on the spain without a win they lost to nations fc went to bechem to lose then they bounced back again one went away to lose and then they have bounced back today by beating mediema so i think that objectively um this is a competition that is growing um healthily um again the challenges about um, um infrastructure refereeing spectating quality of play will come up but i think um, if you are able to keep a consistent performance over a period of time and you work on your flaws as you go along, you can only get better. Um, the, leaks, the league went on break. With um, I think 2017 was the last competitive season we had. Then post-2017 when Kotoko won, beat House of Oak to win the FA Cup, we had a nice expose. We went off. There was normalization, competition. As Andegro won, went to Africa, got to the group stage, couldn't make it to the second round from the group stage under CK Akono in 2019. Then in 2020, COVID also came, so we played an abridged version of the of the league. Then we went off and had to start in 2021. So we've had a lot of challenges from 17 until 2021 when we got back to our first full calendar. And we can only get better from 2021 to 2024 today we have a club in the semi-finals of the calf confederation cup so it means that consistently 
if we are able to do what we are doing right, admit that there are challenges, continue to work on the floors, and then put uh, you know the bit parts of the jigsaw in place, we can only get better. And for me, I think that this season will go down as one of the best. And Henry Asante Chum and all praise your ligness. And then on hooliganism in uh league, who call your league centers now? Send it here. Then you say in Henry a kind of I am glad to say that we have the full support of the police at the moment. The spectators who were arrested here in Kumasi are currently facing the law. Um, last week, I think they were taken to court. The case was adjourned and they will be taken to court again. What we need to have in mind is that no one is above the law. And there is no different law at the sports stadium. It's so different from, from, from outside the sports stadium. So we just need to bear in mind that, you know, gone are the days when you can go to the sports stadium and take the law into your hands, go out and misbehave, and then go unpunished. Um, this UP lady, I don't Uncle is now the chairperson of the safety and security committee has assured the executive council that she is going to follow the law to the latter and i like the way she has started and i want to believe that uh, once we begin to show the power and show the way by prosecuting people who go to the stadium to misbehave it will serve as a deterrent i can assure you that i mean some of these things will be a thing of the past you cannot eradicate it completely even in europe it happens in 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 turkey three weeks ago there was a major outbreak of of um, you know um fun misbehavior in in one of the games in the turkish league so we will work as as much as possible to minimize it and to and to caution people who go to the stadium to misbehave by ensuring that they face the law and i'm sure once we are able to sanitize the system it will serve as a deterrent and we can all leave our homes visit the various sports stadiums without thinking that our life is in danger go to the stadium watch our games in peace and return home peacefully henry asante chum ekebio Communication director, my uh, 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 football. Is not in the context of the word dead, something that is dead means it doesn't exist. Whatever is dead means it's non existent. But you cannot you cannot qualify for the women's world cup under twenty world cup and call yourself a dead product. You cannot make it to the semi final of CAF's second elite club competition and say your brand is dead. You cannot win the African games in both male and female competitions and say your 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 product is dead. Yes, I agree we have some challenges. I sit here and I speak as, as, as someone who is deeply involved in the day-to-day -day, um, running of our football and I know there are challenges. I know there are financial challenges. I know there are economic challenges. I know there are infrastructure you know, um, challenges we need to solve. I know we've got issues with coaching. I know we've got issues with refereeing. I know we've got issues with, with, with um, um, organization, um, issues about television, broadcast, a whole lot. Marketing, there is a whole lot of challenges that confront the football industry but going to a tournament and coming back unsuccessful does not make your product dead i mean it is unfortunate it is what it is we we have issues with youth development which the leadership of the fa is trying extremely hard to to solve we've got issues with 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 um finance which yes indeed the administration is working extremely hard to to get it resolved and if you are able to identify your challenges you it puts you in a better position to solve so i i do not have issues with people who say that we are not in good standing but we are in our current state because certain things occurred in the in the past and we did not find immediate solution yes and to why and i am fine sir immediate solution no to wait no say our football is not dead one more scenario but now we can be serious our questions no one said black queens the acquire african games the dreams are you i'm on phone can say in football no and you're back or say football is not dead on the black stars henry can say have have tasted good times before <laughs> i have tasted good times before. you are you have tasted good times before so when the team is not winning is a major concern to everybody but um what i also know is that we were we haven't been in good place for some time now we are trying to get to the to the level where we belong um in this you know attempt to get the team to the good level we will have challenges we'll have issues we'll have problems um we'll have heartbreaks we'll have disappointments but in all our ultimate goal is to be stronger and greater again what what we we know is that now there is a new technical team at the helm of affairs um Otuado is 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 back in the saddle supported by joseph lawman john, john pinto um fatal dauda they have their philosophy um i was with them like you mentioned when we went to morocco 
Morocco in our first game we showed character and hunger even though we lost to Nigeria by two goals to one let's not forget that this team played without some of our key players I mean and and when and when the key players argument is raised there are people who will still have doubt too the key players have always been around yet we lose yet we lost to uh, we, we lost to Kivet in Cote d'Ivoire we drew with Egypt we drew with Mozambique so so it makes the key the key players argument quite weak or a bit weak but i'm very sure that we will be in a very good position to compete very very soon by by the time the season comes to an end hopefully we'll have all our players fully fit kudus thomas um amate jiku um um, um gideon mensa and all our major players fully fit inyaki williams i'm happy for him he won a trophy the spanish copa de rey uh, with with athletic bobao um, yesterday against Espanyol, which is very, very positive for his personal confidence. 